Okay, so not too much art. Where were we? I might be a robot, but at least I'm happy being a robot. This one here is from Goddess Up. Some more art for uh, Vomit in the Ball Pit. Again, having to explain to people that you wrote a song called Vomit in the Ball Pit is a very strange thing, but I, I accept the challenge. This one's from Midhinge. Feeling the fast yet, Vinny? Not yet. We'll get there. From Mono Rabbit. Can I show you the joy of T-spins? It was from my Poyo Tetra stream last night. Ugh. Them fucking T-spins. This is pretty cool. Some uh, pixel art icons from Jed94. I think this is really well done. You may have a future in pixel art, my friend. From Twilight Owl, here's a BRB with some 3D Vine Shroom fellows. <laughs> um, okay, just make sure I saw all this stuff on this page, and we move on to the next one. This one's from Russian Doggo. Vine Sauce will be right back, I, I guess. Maybe, if Vinny survives the uh, the BRB, you never know. From uh, Jaden A. Vine Sauce. That's cool. Really nicely done there. Artfolio Software made this one for uh, Reno. I wonder how many people in chat get upset, like genuinely upset when they see art for, for my band. Come on! Stop shilling! <sighs> I know you give your music out for free, but fucking goddamn it, stop! It's not gonna be a thing! Stop trying to make it a thing! <laughs> There's at least one person like that, I would imagine. The art probably sets them off just as bad. For Anyway, this one's from Golden Soda Gamer. I mean, hey, there's thousands of people here. You never really know. From Daddy Shivy 98 Here's Luigi, Speed Luigi wrapping his tongue around a shroom, which sounds a lot dirtier than it is. Time to put the air conditioner on. That's a pretty good Speed Luigi, too. Here's one from Kyle. The bagel? What is, why is there a, a YouTube video in the BRB? You think, pe <laughs> you think people are going to type that during the BRB? And there's no link to it either. Excuse me. But yeah, there's not even a link to it. Oh well. From Nat is not on fire, another light, a new beginning. One can only hope. <clears throat> One can only hope. This one's from Pokeball 35 Buru. Vine will st stay off the uh, splat. Vine Splat will be right back. Stay off the hook. I think is that. From Moist Aardvarks. Cool name you got there. Here's some Korok art for you. Here's a Korok baked out of its mind. They're just like smoking their own people. From Ghostra. What the hell? Is this my Salt Kart streams? This is from my Mario Kart 8. It says, I love watching Vin suffer playing this game. I think that's most of the appeal for most people. From, from That's really nice art, too. You're really talented. From Steam Imperial, here's something for uh, Reno. Also really cool. Very nice. Lots of cool art for the song. This one's from Abby. I think, again, remind me how to say that next time you make art. Anyway, it's a uh, clown motel. I like how it says mental on the sign, and I see the alien peeking out from the corner. There's something going on in the window, too. I can't really tell what it is. I thought it was a wank at first, but maybe it's a wonk. I don't know. 
Anyway, that's awesome. This one is from Mad Hinge. Not today. From Striding Crab. It's the return of Striding Crab. Striding Crab, we missed you. I like the new approach. I like some of the new things you're trying here. I think it's really, really great. Striding Crab is one of the best on the Buru. And has made some art for our Red Vox stuff. Like some of the, the first singles. Like Hazy. So, yeah, it's a really, really nice piece of art. I, I love it. And it's it's very well done. From Patrick. Patrick Reed. It's a vine spinner. I believe I saw this earlier. It's actually really well done. Someone was actually recently... Uh, I think they emailed me. I, I forgot if you did. They were like, I can produce these. And it's like similar to this, but not, not the same design. There is a consideration of vine sauce spinners for the charity stream, let's just say that, but it's getting a little too close. From Ethelis. I don't know what's up. What is this? Oh, it says it's Magnemite and Happy Splatfest. So I think that's happening. All right, mate. From Midhinge. <clears throat> Sorry for spamming the Buru with these three images of Sonic in the past 24 hours. You've inspired me to draw again since I was a kid. But why Sonic? I mean, you can draw Sonic, but I haven't streamed Sonic any time recently. But they're tagged as Vinny. I'll tell you what, though. Keep drawing. You have talent. Keep up the good work. And if you're going to draw Sonic, then just do it with... Do it Do it right. You know what I mean? Keep, keep going. Make your dreams come true. From Primal Screen Guy... Oh, thanks. Like I said, am I... Do I have permission to be happy now? With 200k follows, does that do it? Once you hit 300k, maybe does that make you happy and eliminate the um, the existential crisis? Because that would be cool. Uh, from Wallamations, Morty, you got to stay away from those things. They're the Spallone Babago Scooties, Morty. Oh God, they're just slices of pizza. We're Italian, and our brains are made of cheese. That's pretty much exactly what I was talking about. From Noosemans. Here is me with a pizza slice. Got to clarify that. And that's really, really good art. It's cool. From Noli Cannoli. Be careful of the company you keep. You don't want to be hanging around with a bunch of like troublemaker biker babies. Troublemaker biker babies, troublemaker bikey babies, troublemaker biker babies, trouble bubble baby blah, 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 blah. Say that four times fast. Jesus fucking Christ. I was gonna say that could be a Beach Boy song. Troublemaker biker babies, troublemaker biker babies, troublemaker biker babies, and they're in trouble. <laughs> From Joey the Ravioli, here's some 200k art. Here's one from Hamsfreth. Vine Sauce will be right back. Troublemaker Biker Babies would be a Mike Love song, I think, if the Beach Boys did that. I think Mike Love... And he would be able to sing it, too, because you don't have to stray outside of half an octave. Troublemaker Biker Babies, Troublemaker Biker Babies. I throw shade at Mike Love a lot, but to be fair, he was such a dick to his cousin, Brian, that I feel like it's justified. It's just a Farino. Anyway, let me let me just go back to this one. Tasty Flan made this one. But I think I didn't say... This one was Hamsfreth, right? Okay, Hamsfreth made this BRB, which I will be using. This BRB is also pretty cool. 
Tasty Flan made this for the charity stream. We have confirmation on the uh, Think Geek collaboration where uh, they will be giving out some stuff to the winners of the uh, of the competition of the uh, art contest. So that that is a confirmed where you'll be able to first place gets first pick and then there's going to be some gift cards for the wild card winners. So that's pretty cool. And again, they're not asking for anything in return. It's just that one of the dudes that works there is a Vine Sauce fan and uh, he genuinely thinks we're doing a good job with the charity stream. So you know what? I, I, I'm all for it. I think that's great. Might have a couple special guests during the charity stream. I'm going to attempt to do that. I don't like bothering people, but I can... Um, there's a couple people I have in mind that I might have a quick appearance from or a chat with. From Cryomancer, I can't believe this emoticon I made could be used, spammed, so often. It's a good one. Mike Lowe? No, no, no. Mike Love. Not Mike Lowe. I don't know who that is. You mean Mike Rowe? Mike Rowe. This one's from Zolta. Don't know if intentional misspellings, but I'm going to approach this Vine says, uh, I'm going to approach this with empathy, and I want you to know uh, if if this is true, I want you to know that I went through that too a couple years ago, and I'm glad that we can help uh, give you some hope, and uh, I wish you the best, you and your family. From, I still don't know how to say this name. Anukal, 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 Anu, Anuai, Anunaki, Anunaki. It's from the Anunaki. E n n n e n n u i k a l, and it's me dropping a treasure chest on an old man while playing with my little collection of amiibos. Sorry. And here's one. Finally, from Death in a Cup 879. Please. No japes. No japes, Mr. Shield. I've had enough of your Helix japes, really. Ugh. Uh, yeah. So that was it. That's the stream. I hope you enjoyed. I did. Always good to revisit Zelda. What is the most amount of money you and the team raised for charity? Last year, we raised $108,000, and that includes donations and t-shirt sales. So we were very, very, very happy. Uh, we A lot of us got very emotional. I don't because I'm, I think, a little dead on, on the inside. I'm also a little edgy. I don't know if you could tell that. I was in a biker baby gang. Um, but no, I got, even I got a little bit emotional. It was pretty fucking nuts to raise that much money last year. And people were very generous. People were very kind. Some people donated a lot of money. People that, you know, aren't making that much. People that probably work really hard to get their paychecks and are doing something with their money that is actually going to real research and really helping make these kids comfortable. And that's... I think really why this is such a good cause. Like every time we, we do the charity stream, we get a report back from PCRF and they tell us where the money's going. So it's a really, really, really good cause. And I, I like that we raised that much money. That said, if you don't have a lot of money and if you're like working and you know, everyone's got bills to pay. Where's that one year old? Is that one year old still in the chat? Listen, one year old, when you go to college, you either got to like, go on a scholarship or you got to kick ass or you got to go to a nice cheap university because man, you're going to be spending a lot of money on student loans well into your thirties. Now you got a couple years of pooping your pants before you get there. Um, there's a lot in between pooping your pants and college, but you know what? It's good to know these things early 
and it's it's hard. It's hard to make a living. I mean, uh, in my parents generation and a little older, well, very, you know, definitely older, people would uh, not even go to college, just, you know, go to a trade school or just jump in the workforce. And then the amount of money they could make from that, they'd be able to start a family and um, just buy a house and it was easier, you know, and a lot of baby boomers, from my understanding, um, from my experience, don't fully understand why it's difficult for people my age and, and younger to uh, just go get a family and buy a house. And it's it's tough because, first of all, inflation, um, it's tough to make that money and it's tough to pay off your fucking student loans. And it's it's competitive. It's a very difficult job market. Uh, so it's really it's tough to make the money. It's tough to pay the bills. It's tough to pay back the loans. And it's tough to even get the jobs, the good ones in the first place. And then you have to like have master's degree now. Like that's the thing. When I went to college, they were uh, selling me on and I didn't do it, but it wasn't just about going to college. You know, that was 10 years ago. If you went to college, you were guaranteed a good job. They were like, now you have to go to grad school. You have to put in like eight years. And I didn't do grad school because I was fucking done with college. And I went and jumped into the workforce immediately and i had some duds i worked for 13 years kids 13 years and some of them were not very fun but i saved and i I worked really fucking hard and i got lucky a little bit later on obviously but i still try to work a little bit hard and you know make things happen for myself but the idea that even when i was working at a college at a job that was like fairly like i worked at a bank like tra- doing stock loan with Wall Street. Now, I wasn't making as much money as any of those people. I was still very entry level. I wasn't like amazing at it. But w- at the time, I was making a little bit of money and so much of it was going to bills, car, paying off student loan. So it's tough. Uh, so, of course, one year old baby, I'm trying to tell you specifically, you know, save your money be careful and good luck it's a tough market out there and who knows what it's going to be like in 2060 2030 24 well 2040 right that's when the baby's going to be uh, 2030 that's when the baby will be 21 and I'm like about to graduate so but also you know follow your dreams while you you know I was following my my memes while I was working I um I, I was always in a band and I always uh I sh- for while I had a full-time job, I streamed. So I, I still did my hobbies and I put work into both my job and my hobbies. Now I'm not trying to say, look at me, everyone. I, I found the fucking way to success because I'm still not a very happy person. <laughs> I mean, I am, but it's, you know, there's a whole other set of problems uh, that, that start to happen. And many of my, uh, of them are of course my own mistakes and that's just part of getting older, baby. You understand this, right? Of course you do. You're one years old. You know, you're still sucking on them titty. I get it. But this is good for you to know. And what I want you to know is one of the nicest things you can do for another person is to help them. You know, if someone's not like, you know, kids with cancer. That sucks. That's terrible. That's why we're doing this charity, you know. And I feel very good when we do the charity. I feel good to donate. I feel good to um, help bring in people. I help. I feel really good to stream and know that we're raising money for a genuinely good organization. So, baby, what I'm trying to say to you is this. If you don't have a lot of money because working gives you maybe not the paycheck you want, or you're paying off student loans, or you blew some of the money on that motorcycle you wanted because you wanted to be in a biker gang. I know that. Mike Love wrote a song about it. Even five bucks. Even if you just watch the stream and tell a friend about it, it helps. You know, five bucks is still going to help, and it's going to add to a pool of, of donations. And also, I'll say this, baby. Even if you just buy a shirt, you get a shirt, all of the proceeds, aside from what it takes to ship 
and produce the shirt will go directly to the charity. So you get a really fucking badass shirt, and I'll show you the design soon. It's almost finalized. And you get a shirt out of it, and like 10 or more bucks from that shirt goes directly to the charity. Not a bad deal. Also, baby, I wouldn't recommend... Uh, I'm talking to a baby, like a toddler, not like I'm not... Like, that's not a pet name for the chat, that's weird. But I'll just say a uh, near toddler... If you want to donate a couple of bucks, that's great. But don't break the bank. You know, make sure you have enough money for yourself. Last year, there were a lot of really don uh, generous donations. And I felt kind of bad because I knew some people. I knew some of the people that donated a lot. And I know that they're just not making a ton of money. Uh, it, that's okay. You don't have to donate, like, everything. Just any bit helps. And for those wondering, including the toddler I'm talking to, uh, the charity stream will be in a week and a half. So we're getting real close to this thing. And uh, I'll have some entertainment that I hope you'll uh, enjoy. I think it's the 21st to the 23rd of July. So look forward to it. Okay. Now that I've... I don't know what the fuck I just did there. But whatever it, <laughs> whatever it is that I just did is over. I would like to also tell you about the other Twitch members on the Vine Sauce team. The other stream team members. You have Dire Boar is live at the moment. And you should check him out. I'll be hosting him after this. And you go to twitch.tv slash team slash Vine Sauce. And you can see the entire list. And you can also go on to the Twitter at Vine Sauce. My mod stream. You can maybe just follow them from the chat. And uh, check the auto hosts, and you'll see on my auto host some of my mods from time to time. So if you want to, you know, check out uh, check out a stream. Say you're new to this whole thing. You just check out my channel, and that'll take you to where you need to go. So, yeah, I guess that's about it. Thank you for suffering whatever temporary insanity. I found myself succumbing to and thank you for uh, the encouragement with arms and Zelda and I will see you guys probably tomorrow and we'll finish Castlevania and do more thing so good night